What's up guys, my name is Darkshock124 and if you're looking at this little part of the video you can see that I have a custom skin installed for Master Yi this is. Uh, now if you've ever seen the anime entitled Bleach you will know this guy's name is Ichigo and it's really well done actually. You can see I've got the custom circle icon, the custom square icon, the custom loading screen icon. Um, and yeah, so why, what better way to show you it off than to do all the attack animations and kill this fucking Annie? So as you can see from the video and this, it's very well made. And there's a tutorial just coming up in a few seconds, so enjoy. What is up guys, my name is Darkshock124 and if you saw the video just before this I'm going to teach you how to install custom skins in the game League of Legends. Now, there's three things you're going to need here. You're going to need some patience, WinRAR and this thing called Skin Installer Ultimate. Now WinRAR is available for free at this link here. Now your top two choices are your 32-bit or your 64-bit. If you're not sure what your system is, you're going to have to go to your start menu, right-click computer, go properties. This little screen will pop up and under system type it'll be right there, 64-bit. So I would get 64-bit. Now I already have it installed, so I don't have to do that. So now this is the SIU thing. Um, this link will be in the description along with any other links in this video. You're just going to click download, I've already got it, and you're going to extract it to somewhere where you're going to remember where it is. Now I extracted mine to a new folder called, new folder, on the desktop. So you can see here there's actually a lot of files in it, so you need to kind of make a folder for it or it will just be all over your desktop. So the third one you want to go to is just the website, just called leecraft.com forward slash skins. So basically this is a section of this website where people can create custom skins and whatnot. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and find a skin that I would like to put on a champion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a champion that's just got a boring, a boring normal skin. Um, Um, let's just say, like, uh, um, gonna... alright, Soraka. Soraka has a shit normal skin. So I'm going to organize these by download so I can get the best of the best up the top here. So this Raven Soraka is apparently the best one. So as you can see, that, that, looks so much better than the original but you know that's not my style so I'm just going to have a keep looking through here now I saw this one earlier and this one looks pretty cool it looks actually more like it alright so now that you've found the skin that you want you're going to come into your SIU folder and launch this skin install ultimate now you'll get a, thir you'll get a first time thing um, it's going to go ahead and load all the files that are in your LOL folder and whatnot. So another step you should be doing right here is to be going to this folder here. So you got to go C, Riot Games, League of Legends, RADS, Projects, LOL underscore game underscore client and then file archives. Then go to 0.0.0.25 which should be the first file. Now this is where the majority of the files in the game are kept and what you want to do is you want to back these two files up so I just made a folder called backup drag those two in it and I was good to go now all that does is ensures that if you screw this up anyway then you can restore it back to normal so what we're going to do here is we're going to click this button that says use with leadcraft.com it's going to come up with a bunch of steps now there's different steps depending on what browser you have so it recommends you do it with Firefox. I don't actually have Firefox. I have Google Chrome, which it is actually the easiest way to do it on. 
Um, if you have Firefox, this is the way you need to do it. Um, just follow these steps and you should be fine. Step three is the one that you're most um, concerned about. With the user script, what it does is it replaces a button on the Leecraft website on the skin um, to say install with SIU. Now basically I've already done all this and so if I go back to this Leecraft web page and I can see here install with SIU. Now all you have to do is click this and something will come up asking you asking your permission to launch that program. Um, it's basically just launching that. Now if you move this, these files anywhere then you're going to have to redo the um, script uh, otherwise just click install with SIU and the first thing to pop up should be um, something saying that hey look it's finished importing what do you want to do with it um, I'm just going to go I'm done adding files add finalize this skin added that one and I'm going to I'm going to click please automatically install it at this time now by default on this one, these two are going to be unticked, but if it's a really well developed skin, they are going to have new sounds and new menu and text mods. So I, I normally click those. Now this one is, you don't need to worry about this one because we've already backed up the files itself. Um, we're just going to go ahead and now it gives you the option for the skin that you want to replace with this custom skin. What you normally want to replace is the default skin, unless you want to, for some reason, replace a paid skin that you've paid for. Um, by default, default should be selected and whatnot. So you're going to click done. It's going to patch those files. It's going to say that it's installed now. So you can go in here and you can you can right click this one and go like preview the skin and it's going to give you a preview of the skin itself. Um, now what you have to do here is click start lol. If you already had it open you need to restart the client or it won't work. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go test this bad boy out. So we're going to quickly log in, get into a custom game. Now the reason we're doing this is because if there's something went wrong with the skin or the skin is corrupt, the files are corrupt, anything like that um, it could cause your game to crash and be unplayable, hence why we backed it up. So this is why, this is why we backed it up and this is why we s normally select the ones that have been downloaded the most. So what we're going to do is start the game, we're going to press on Soraka, wherever she is. Now this normally won't be changed and neither will this, but if it's really well developed they will both be changed. And what we're going to do is we're not going to see any difference until we get into the game itself. Now, this one itself does have different particles, so when you do do um, when you do abilities and everything, it's going to be different colours, as you can see from this little the little thing. So you can see here we've got a different picture here, which is um, it's a sure sign to let you know that it's basically worked. And when we get in this game, it's going to be pretty laggy because I'm using because I'm using Camtasia to record it, which is a screen recording software. It's not a game recording software. So we're just about in game here, and it's going to work 100%, no doubt. So we can see here that it's worked fine. Um, if we just heal ourselves there and you can see it's all pretty cool particles and everything so we know that it's worked 100 percent and basically that is all there is to installing custom skins now if you want to uninstall it this gives you the option to do that all you need to do is tick this click uninstall it'll get rid of all of them and replace it with the original ones and basically that is all that you need to know to replace your skins with custom skins in the next tutorial I'm going to do, I'm going to teach you how to replace paid right skins with the original skins. So that means you can replace a legendary skin, let's say, with a original skin. The only downside with that is you cannot replace the particles, which really, they make the legendary skins legendary. For example, I tried to do the Vlad one, the skin worked fine, this, like I could see the skin and everything, but 
when the blood comes out, the way the way it looks really real. Um, you can't actually replicate that unless you went into the files and renamed every single one of them, which um, I'm sure in some time will be will be included in this type of stuff. But for now, it's not. So anyway, my name is Darkshock124. I hope I taught you a lot. Um, later, guys.